So, <clears throat> quite a while ago, I played Morrowind on the channel. It was around, like, whenever I hit 60 subscribers, I believe, maybe. Well, I only did the one video on it, I think. So, yeah, I'm returning to Morrowind. Each event. That's loud. <laughs> Read it yourself, that's too loud. Does it have to? <laughs> Why? Okay. It's too loud, though. They have taken you from the Imperial City's prison. First by carriage, and now by boat. To the east, to Morrowind. Fear not, for I am watchful. You have been chosen. Wake up. We're here. Why are you shaking? Are you okay? Wake up. Okay. Stand up. Now can I turn? There you go. You were dreaming. What's your name? Oh, my name. My name is Benjamin Inder. At your service, sir. Hold on. <laughs> this sounds... there. Okay. Think they'll let us go? Oh yeah, here comes the guard. He's gonna let me go. He's gonna leave you here. I'm sorry. I sold you out. I can't hear... <laughs> I can't hear you unless it's up really loud. Like, how about this? The turn voice is up. Effects. Down, footsteps low. Turn them low. There. Alright, following after you, sir. Might I say, you know, you definitely can walk. <laughs> Your walk cycle does not look painful at all. Can I take anything? That would be fun. I'm gonna just go Get up. up on deck and let's keep this as... Okay, jeez. Yelly, pushy, whatever. Hello. This is where they want you. Head down to the dock and I'll show you to the census office. The water is so pretty. <laughs> hey, buddy. You finally arrived, but yes. our records don't show from where. Oh, okay. Here's where I pick it. A kaijit. I believe that's how you pronounce it. Okay. Change face. Oh wow, okay. <laughs> Let's just make him terrifying, shall we? <laughs> no, we're gonna go with this one. Hair. Well, it could be a lion. Kajit. I believe, or Kajit. Either way. Wow, he can have. <laughs> Let's change his face. You mean a tiger? They're basically cats. <laughs> I mean, they are. They're supposed to be. But hear me out. It's just a tiger. And this is a, a lion. This is a cheetah with a mustache. <laughs> Let's do this one. <laughs> yeah, okay. Great. I'm sure you'll fit right in. Yeah. Call me up to the office and they'll finish your release. The thing looks creepy. It looks like a giant tick. Yeah, your walk cycles don't look painful, though. At all. <laughs> so yeah, I figured... Hello, sir. Ah, uh, yes. We've been expecting you. Uh, you'll have to be recorded before you're officially released. There are a few ways we can do this, and the choice is yours. And the choice is mine. Answer my question. Yep. On a clear day, you chance upon a strange animal, its leg trapped in a hunter's claw snare. Judging from the bleeding, it will not survive long. What do you do? Um... Uh, <laughs> oh, God. 
oh, I don't want to put it to sleep, but I don't want it to, I don't want to kill it. Yeah. One summer afternoon, your father gives you a choice of chores. What would you rather do? Go catch fish, gather herbs, work in the forge. Oh, the forge. Your cousin has given you a very embarrassing nickname, and even worse, <laughs> likes to call you it in front of your friends. You've asked him to stop, but he finds it very amusing to watch you blush. <clears throat> People I know. <laughs> Anybody watching this who gives me a embarrassing nickname that I tell you to stop, that's, yep. <laughs> Make up an even more <laughs> embarrassing nickname. So, use it constantly until he learns his lesson. Make up a story that makes your nickname a patch honor. Beat up your cousin and tell him that if he... <laughs> okay. Okay. So, it went from make up an embarrassing nickname to making up a story that makes it cool, and then just beating up your cousin. <laughs> there is a lot of heated discussion at the local <laughs> tavern over a group of people called telepaths. Ooh. They've been hired by certain city-state kings. Rumor has it these telepaths read a person's mind and tell their lord whether a follower is telling the truth or not. You Loyal. believe what? I believe what? Loyal followers to the king have nothing to fear from a telepath. It is important to have a method of finding assassins and spies before it is too late. These times it is necessarily evil, although do not necessarily to have certain advantage. Mm. This is a terrible practice. A person's thoughts are his own and no one, not even a king, has the right to make such an invasion into another human's mind. Your mother sends you to the market with a list of goods to buy. After you finish, you find that by mistake a shopkeeper has given you too much money back in exchange for one of the items. What do you do? <laughs> this is a moral problem. Don't give me these. <laughs> I could purchase items that would help my family, and that's very good morally, but then I can just keep it because ah, it's, it's as hard as mine. <laughs> that While one. in a marketplace, you witness a thief cut a purse from a noble. Even as he does so, the noble notices and calls for the city guards. In his haste to get away, the thief drops the purse near you. Surprisingly, no one seems to notice the bag of coins at your feet. What do you do? Uh, give it to the right Your owner. father sends you on a task which you loathe, cleaning the stables. On the way there, pitchfork in hand, you run into your friend from the homestead near your own. Mm -hmm. He offers to do it for you in return for a future favor of his choosing. What do you do? That's when known in two people agree to help him with one task, accept his offer. Uh, I, if somebody asked me to do something, I wouldn't pawn it off on someone else. But... It... Uh, declined. Your mother asks you to help fix the stove. While you're working, there are stoves a very hot in pipe this time? its moorings and falls towards her. What do you do? Position yourself between the pipe and your mother, grab the hot pipe and try to push it away, or push your mother out of the way. Pushing her out of the way would be safer, but we'd be in the way then. I could get in between, but get horribly burned, but it'd be worth it. <laughs> Push her out of the way. While in town, the baker gives you a sweet roll. Delighted, you take it into an alley to enjoy, only to be intercepted by a gang of three other kids your oh, age. Geez. The leader demands the <laughs> sweet roll, or else he and his friends will beat you and take it. <laughs> what do you do? Mm, yeah. Act like you're gonna give it. Get a shot in on the leader. Give her the sweet roll, knowing that later this afternoon... Um, drop the sweet roll and step on it, then get ready for a fight. Beat it's him up when he's not... <laughs> you are witness to a very <clears throat> dressed man running from a crowd. He screams to you for help. The crowd behind him seems very angry. What do you <clears throat> do? This fight, uh, uh, stand aside. A rogue, yay. Thank you. Very good. 
The letter way. that preceded you mentioned you were born under a certain sign. Uh, and what would that be? What sign? I don't know. The shadow? The serpent? The great snake of Paradoxia? I'm gonna go with the serpent. Interesting. Interesting. Now, before I stamp these papers, make sure this information is correct. Make sure this information is correct. I don't care. It's incorrect. It's correct. That's me. You blah blah. Show blah. papers to the captain when you exit to get your release fee. And an officer. No, I don't wanna. Imperial agent. Goodbye. You'll go no further until you have your papers. Blah 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 blah. Yeah, blah. I dropped it. Take. Continue through to the next building and talk to Celis Gravius. Okay, thank you very much. I don't know who that is, but thanks a lot. What's this way? Ooh, a knife. I don't think you... Okay. Heh. <laughs> we will now kill. <laughs> I don't remember the combat being very good in this game. But, sure. Whatever. Basket with a pencil gem. And a coin or something. Don't know what it is. I think I went into the wrong door. Oh dear. It's over through here? Yes, of course it is. Of course it is. And then we... allows you to see the place and the direction you're facing. Of course, of course. Take the goblet and the ring of healing. Because... There's someone who wants it. And the space bar to talk to the captain. Oh wow. Well. Hello. Background. Salus Gravius, Knight Errant of the Imperial Legion. We have garrisons at Fort Peligad and Peligad, Hawkmoth Fort in Evanhart, and Fort Moonmoth in Balmora. Fort Buckmoth in Aldrum, and Fort Darius in Gnisus. Or Gnisus, were you looking to join the Imperial Legion? Okay, join. All the garrisons are presently at full strength, except perhaps the Death's Head Legion at Fort Darius in the West Gash near the village of Gnisus. If you're interested, you'll have to talk to General Darius. Um, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Thank you very much, sir. Speak freely, friend. Yeah, yeah. Make sure to ask him about your duties. What is my duty to the wonderful land of Morrowind? Package came, blah blah blah. Directions to Kaios Kasides. Kaios Kasides. Thank you. I won't come back. Press <laughs> J to return to your journal. Now, Mora in the Vardenfell district. Report to man. To find out where he lives, I should ask him about Mora at the corner club called South Wall. I will find him. I must give him a package and wait for further orders. And you, sir? Hello. I don't know if I can help you, but uh, I'll try. Yes, I found it. Here, take it. Uh huh. Uh, thank you. Found it. You are now my favorite friend. I'll be sure to tell the others and the guy who runs the trade house. And yeah. Hello. Yes. Yes. <laughs> look, the walk cycle. That doesn't look painful. Hello, sir. Speak freely, friend. You all have the same voice. Good to know. Good to know. Wait, I want to go see the giant tick monster. Let's go see him. Hello, ma'am. Sorry to waste your time. I'm just gonna make a weird noise when I jump, apparently. That's fine. Hello. 
seaport. I'm a caravanner and I manage the Silt Strider port here. Tell me your destination if you're looking for a ride to help you with services, a specific place, or if you want someone in particular. Someone in particular. Destination. Belmora. Bring me to Balmora. Because <laughs> that's where we're supposed to go, right? I hope that it is because I already clicked it. It's spent money we'll on make it. a special trip just for you. Same low price. Stay back. <laughs> Creeping me out. It's so pretty. I like this place. Let me look at the map. Uh, Balmora Council Club. The world map. Is that? Sedanin. Okay, we need the corner club, I believe. Let me just... Uh, corner club called the South Wall. Oh, okay. I pressed the wrong button. Multiple times. Ignore that. The corner club. Oh, we can walk up here. This is someone's house. Hello, my good sir sirs. Just looking for the corner club. I'm guessing it's not one of these house-looking buildings. Jeez, it's it's Kajit. an alien. Kajit, yes. Shargam Groshagdog. I can't take your name seriously, sir, and I'm terribly sorry for that. <laughs> Jeez Louise. I do not wish to anger the orcs. I am a friend. And I have a knife. Well, I guess I'm gonna end it here and try and figure out where I'm supposed to go. Then we'll start the video next video soon and... This game is so pretty, and the voice acting is much. Wealth beyond measure, Alpanda. Yeah. All right. So, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Till then. Oh, resting here is illegal. Who's gonna stop me? <laughs> Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, goodbye!